Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at how you can create a dependent dropdown with the new Google Chips. I've had a question come through for this, um, so I thought I'd throw together a quick video just to show you how that's done. So let's dive in. So as before, creating the dropdown list to start off with, we'll just do an insert dropdown and we'll choose this from a range. And the range we're going to choose is our first manufacturer range here. Best thing to do as before is to keep this open-ended. So we'll just drop the last two digits from the end there. So if this list grows, then the drop-down will, will update accordingly. And so we've got our list of car manufacturers in here. Now, even though these are duplicated, it only pulls through the unique values. So this is everything we need for that drop-down. And we can choose one of these from the list here. Now, what we want to do is we want to, if we chose um, a manufacturer like Tesla here, then we want to only see the Tesla brands or the Tesla models in the second dropdown. So before we create that, we need to just create some dependent sort of filter here. So the way we do that is if you lay your table out like this, so you've got the, the Tesla or, you know, whatever your, your first dropdown is and then your second dropdown. And so these three all relate to these. So there's, there's a lot of duplication going on here, but when it comes to choosing the dropdown, it makes life a lot easier. So a bit of setting up to do, but it does pay off in the long run. So in here, we're going to use the filter function. So filter, and we want to filter this list here. So we're going to open this up to an open-ended range here. So we're going to look at all of this, this whole C column. And we want to look for a value in this column. So again, we'll open this up as well, all the way down. And so we want to find this, this term in this range here. So we're going to say equals whatever's in here. Then we can close our parentheses and hit enter. And you can see that we're only showing the Tesla models here now. And if I change this to Kia, we only see the Kia options here as well now. So we can come along and enter another rule on this cell now, and we'll choose from a range. Now in this case, we're going to choose this range here and we'll open this up as well so that it's open-ended. And we can hit done on that one. So now when we choose Peugeot, in here we're only seeing the Peugeot models. Again, BMW, we're only seeing the BMW. So you could do the same thing, you know, multiple times with various dependent drop-down options by doing it in this fashion. So you will just create various dependent filter lists like this for each of your previous um, ranges. The only downside is that if I change this manufacturer now, I get this little error come up here because it can't find X2 um, because this obviously relates to a BMW. So that's just something to bear in mind in order to overcome that you would need to use a little bit of app script to clear that cell. Um, you know, every time you change this, this would just clear out. Um, and I could do a separate video for that to show you how that's done. It's quite straightforward. But for now, this is you know the, the, the quickest way to get a dependent drop down. So if you like that, guys, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks.